My name is Leslie Helm. I'm the editor of Seattle Business Magazine. Today, we're pleased to have with us Adam Warby. He's the CEO of Avanade, an IT consulting company that was created 14 years ago as a joint venture between Microsoft and Accenture. They now have 21,000 employees around the world, and they're helping clients take advantage of new technologies from mobile and cloud computing to the Internet of Things. So you've come a long way from, here, uh, from, from London. Uh, thanks for being here. I understand that you're going to be judging an a internal innovation competition. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, we've been running this competition. It's the third year now, uh, with a culmination of three months of effort. And there are four teams waiting uh, impatiently for the results. So tell me, you, you see an important role in innovation. How is that? Uh, how do companies go about introducing in innovation? And how has this competition helped you? Well, I think the, the first thing for us in terms of innovation, it, it is about customer-focused innovation. So often people think about innovation very much around technology innovation. That's happening in the, in the marketplace. But this is about application of innovation. And in, in our customer base, that, that's what they're looking for. I think this, you know, in this digital revolution, the question is how is that going to disrupt their business and what's the role of innovation in helping? Mm -hmm. And what are the key areas? So you're, you've talked about... The, the number of technologies that are, are really shifting things quite quickly. Um, where do you see the, the, the greatest innovation coming from and where are people putting their money? Well, I think the exciting thing that's different this time, because we were started in the year 2000, another revolution, right. which was the, the, the dot-com era. The difference now is you've got the so-called four forces, uh, social, mobile, analytics, and cloud. And it's when they come together that it's the most powerful. Uh, so, you know, one example is, is uh, the Delta Airlines uh, customer service application mm -hmm. that, that, that uh, we, we've uh, created with them recently. And, you know, that's, that's bringing together all these different aspects uh, that allow them to innovate the way they're serving their customer. Can you talk a little bit about how that works? The, the yeah, I mean, and, and the, the first thing is obvious, in a sense, it's moving from a fixed function retail experience for them to a, a mobile device, uh, and they, they've used various form factors, phones and phablets, the so-called right. phablets. Uh, but then it's actually beginning to look at uh, integration with their back-end systems, and so they're connecting, uh, you know, in the air across the internet to their back-end systems, enabled to do real transactions. So now... The digital, they're, they're not just customer service, they're digital workers. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the, the exciting things about this era is where people used to be sort of fixed to a desk, mm -hmm. fixed to a PC. Now we've got millions of people that can work in this new digital world. So give me an example of what kind of transaction we're we talking about and how the connection to the back end helps. Yeah, well, one interesting uh, idea that they're, they're actually uh, piloting at the moment is the idea of being able to do an on-the-plane seat upgrade. So you might work, walk onto the plane, checked in, you're sitting in a seat, you see that there's an economy plus, a, an extra legroom oh, seat right. in front. Right. And, you know, then, okay, for $25, I might oh, wow. want to move up to that, uh, to that seat. Now, you know, there's some social engineering implications here. You might want to sit to that nice-looking person over right. there. We need to right. be careful of those. But, no, that, that seriously, that example is quite, uh, Interesting. you know, is one that I think we'll, we'll see a lot more. So where are people, uh, companies now, investing their money? Well, uh, the, the world of digital is, is absolutely, you know, at the center of the, the debate. Uh, so I think it, it starts with things like customer experience. So you want people to, you know, have a good customer mm -hmm. experience. Uh, I think then the idea, the example that I gave with the, the Delta example, is about thinking how work changes. Uh, and a lot of people talking about digital in the context of digital mm -hmm. marketing, which is a very important area. And then you think about digital innovation. The area that I think uh, I'm passionate about particularly mm -hmm. is where technology and people come together right. and how we help the workforce be more productive because it's quite challenging to deal with all of the, this change that's going mm -hmm. on. So one of the new things that we're seeing uh, a lot of interest in now is uh, the Internet of Things. And you've talked about some potential applications uh, or areas that w where some of your c customers have gone with that? Yes, the, the so-called Internet of Things. I mean, the idea that uh, almost every device or part of buildings, anything, uh, right. has some intelligence and some mm -hmm. data in it. And, 
it can be often the traditional industries. One example is there's a road paving company in Sweden that we're working with right. that's actually putting sensors in the roads. Uh, there's another example of a, a tyre manufacturer that we've worked with that has moved from, instead of just providing you know, new tyres uh, when they're on demand, worn tyre, come and replace it, they've actually moved their model to being a service uh, that, they, that they do on a, a sort of uh, per mileage, per kilometer basis, and they monitor the tire wear, and then when they want that to be replaced or it's convenient to be replaced, that's scheduled in and, and made possible. So it's those sort of things where the data and the intelligence is starting to be built into the system that you can completely change the way you, you interact. Oh, interesting. So your company, uh, is focused primarily on using Microsoft technology. And we here in this region, of course, Microsoft's such an important part of the region. We worry a little bit about how they're doing in the future of Microsoft. I thought you could talk a little bit about you know, how your customers see Microsoft and how they're uh, taking advantage of, of those tools. Yes. Well, it's, it's, it's an interesting question. I start with uh, our, what our customers are seeing and hearing and talking to us about and these the, the forces that I've talked about that are happening in the industry whether it's social, mobile, analytics or cloud and and how Microsoft's role is playing out in those areas and uh, we're very uh, optimistic uh, the the investment that Microsoft's making in the cloud is significant from things like Office 365 or the Windows Azure Cloud, and our business is growing on the back of that. Uh, certainly their role in providing data and analytics capabilities, that's a, that's a fast-growing business. I think a lot of the focus of the discussion mm -hmm. happens to be in the mobile area, where mm -hmm. uh, the reality of the world is it, it's a, a multi-platform world. People, right. You can't know what phone or mobile device people have. And you know, I think Microsoft understands in, in the so-called post-PC mm -hmm. era that they have to participate uh, in that in that breadth of, of capability. So, if you if you project five years forward, I mean, what do you see as what what are some of the biggest changes that we're going to see that that uh, that we might be surprised at? It's hard to, to predict five years forward, but there's no doubt that in that sort of time scale, we'll see a lot more intelligent decisions being made by devices and machines. Uh, often, they'll be helping. Humans. Healthcare is a fascinating area where you can see uh, the, the amount of data and predictive uh, capability, uh, you know, wearable devices that will tell you as an individual whether you're living a healthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. that'll feed into central systems that will then predict, you know, whether you ought to go for a, a, a you know, a checkup or not. Mm -hmm. So I think all of us will, in our lives, in different ways that we interact, see machines in its, in its broadest way become more intelligent and more part of our lives. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.